Tech to Cat Friday Eagles. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2024, and it's day six of our specials rotation. At this time, please stand as Ms. Dwyer's class introduces themselves and leads us in the pledge. Emma, yep. Violet, Wyatt, Noah, Travis. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. <clears throat> Day of teaching and learning here at Hector Capra Elementary School. Mr. Okada, I am getting tired, but I know the finish is it's right around the corner. Already, so we only have five after today, we only have five days of school left. That's there, it. Yes. I can't believe it. So um, um, we've done an amazing job this year, strong. And you know, a lot of our testing is done. We still have some makeup, yep, something like that. Yep. But you know, everyone's done an amazing job finishing hard, finishing strong, working hard right there. And you know, it doesn't end yet. Yeah, we still we still need to think about being respectful, being responsible. Right, and that does not end. We can finish no. this year strong because yes, our maybe test prep or instruction there is maybe finished, but yet we still have things we can do. That's that right. That, That's right. You know, Learning never stops. Learning never stops. Yep. Yeah. So yep. continue to be respectful. Continue to be responsible. Continue to be ready to learn to that last day of school right there, so you can finish strong. And fifth graders, I want to talk especially yes. to you this morning because I know that you're heading out today for a little fun in the sun um, and splash. Yep. Um, but respectful responsible and ready to learn goes there too as well it's a school function and we we want you to be the best school and represent our school in the most positive and respectful way every single one is a representation of our school right That's there right. out in public so yes i mean let's can you do that it is me a fun day recognizing our yep. fifth grade um hope this is something we can continue every year uh, but we need to make sure we're showing being those three R's right absolutely. there absolutely absolutely yep. all right we don't have any birthdays today but i know we're gonna have lunch what's for lunch today Today, we, for lunch, we have milk, assorted fruit, veggie dippers, potato roasters, and French toast sticks with sausage. Instead of the French toast sticks, you may have a veggie entry salad or a protein box. All right, so French toast sticks and sausage, but if you don't want those, you can have a veggie entree salad or a protein box. And then, you know, we've been doing our word counts, and do you have some updates for I us? I do. Okay. So we're going to, you know... Um, Miss Lamada updated them this week, and then I next, think next Tuesday or Wednesday is going to be our last day, day to okay. kind of update and that. Because we're turning in library turning books. Turning in library books yep. right there. And um, remember, the top class is getting every single student's going to get a pizza coupon for nice guys. So awesome. don't approach me. So just update classrooms right currently now in kindergarten. It's Miss Barry's class with 17,000 words. Awesome. In first grade, Miss Finley's class, 106,000 words. In second grade, Miss Anderson's class at 633,500 words. Second grade is just reading like a storm right there. Um, in third grade, Miss Mujica's class, 700,000 words. In fourth grade, Mr. Gribbon's class, 365,000 words. And in fifth grade, Miss Santier's class, 890,000 words right there. That's a lot of um, words. We're going to see next week, can I update that? So if you still can have books, you have those classic books in your books classroom. Books classic but books so in You class. can still take yep. tests on, continue reading right there. Let's see yep. if, which class yep. we can get the pizza coupons yep. right there. And some of our students already got books to take home, right? Yes, they did. So, yep, yep for the summer. So that's yep. awesome. So just keep reading. And actually, you know, I'm going on vacation this summer. I already ordered the two books that I want to read for the that's summer. That's perfect. So, continue yep. that reading right yep. there. Exactly. Um, also, Ms. Kasman wanted to update. We still have yearbooks. Um, yeah, get your yearbook. Get your yearbook Only a week left to buy your yearbooks. They're amazing. Right there. Um, it's been, they've been a big hit with our, with our students. Ms. Kasman did a really nice job in the yearbook right there. $18. Uh, $18. Yep, yep. So uh, if you need a form, ask your teacher. Uh, we can fill out the form. You can and then teachers, if you need more forms, just let us know. We're happy to drop those off in your mailbox. Yep, absolutely. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Um, I think, oh, that's not it today. We're going to two for Thursday oh, okay. science question. So we have a little trivia today. And if you know the answer, you're going to dial extension 215. 215 says, which of the following is the hottest city in the United States? 
Dallas, Texas, Las Vegas, Nevada, Phoenix, Arizona, or Miami, Florida. Hottest what do you city. think the hottest? And I'm guessing that means the average highest temperature, average right? Temperature, Over yeah. all the days, yeah. right? Yeah. So what do you think the hottest? I tell you, it feels hot here in Fort yeah, Myers, but I'm, I don't see us up there on the list. Yeah. So, All right. Good morning. You're on the air. Who's this? Hi, this is Mr. Griffin's class. What do you guys think it is? What do you think it's C? It is C. It is Phoenix. Yay! All right. Congrats. Yay! Congratulations to... Congratulations to um, Mr. Gribbins class. That, that according to AccuWeather.com, so we have a okay. we have a source, right? We have a source. Um, Phoenix, Arizona, is the hottest. It has over 1.6 million people, and the temperature climbs basically a, over 100 degrees almost daily from the end of May okay. through September. Okay? okay. So, but you know what's interesting about that? Um, they have low temperatures um, in the nighttime. So, so yep, yep. So, go. yep. All right. So, congratulations, Mr. Gribbins. This is class. You have won a dress on bracelet. Everybody else, thanks for playing. Don't forget to be responsible, be respectful, be ready to learn. But most importantly, remember what? Smiles are free! Smiles are free, so share one with a friend. Happy Thursday. Continue those positive expectations.